Have you ever wondered how does it feel to be disconnected? Disconnected from people, essential goods and services, or the rest of the world? The geographical remoteness of several areas in the northeastern region of India has detached and eventually deprived the residents of these areas from certain facilities enjoyed by many. Let us hear the tale of how a construction company is paving a way for a remote but beautiful town towards the light of connectivity. Often known as the last town of India, Anini has been nestling astoundingly in the scenic Dibang Valley of Arunachal Pradesh. Lush green mountains, enchanting waterfalls and the vibrant Idu Mishmi culture have been sculpting the charm of the town. The snowfall in the winters adds the crown to the town's beauty. Despite being pregnant with such tourism potential, the town has remained underdeveloped and less explored due to its remoteness. Situated along the Indo-China border, the town often gets cut off from the rest of the country during extreme weather conditions. Reports have stated that even during the COVID-19 pandemic, movement of vehicles came to a complete halt in the town, affecting transportation of medical and essential supplies. Alternative routes too were unstable as the roads were not strong enough to bear the wrath of incessant rainfall. Assigned by the National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation, a fully owned company of the esteemed Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Shushi Infra has taken up the Herculean task of making this unexplored gem accessible to the world and vice versa. Shushi Infra and Mining Limited is one of India's leading and highly reputed providers of civil engineering, infrastructure construction and mining services offering specialized expertise across five major segments roads and highways, tunnels, irrigation, mining and realty. It has given birth to a vision to build the India of tomorrow by developing world-class infrastructure and assets that will propel the country's economic growth and maximize social welfare. Aligning with its goal, this Hyderabad-based construction giant has been rigorously carrying out the two-laning of the existing National Highway 313. Costing over 300 crores, the 27-kilometer road project is expected to be completed by December 2022. Once finished, the road will aid smooth and easy transportation of the Indian Army's artillery and heavy equipment to the line of control. The Honli Anini road project will also be a boon for the locals as it will facilitate easier movement of both people and supplies. I have experienced that there is a lot of work from here. In terms of education, we have a lot of new schools in our Anini. private schools, like VK, JNB. So, wherever the students come from, we have to go to Anini. 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 Also, the travel time to rowing will be reduced to just six to seven hours from the earlier eighteen long hours. driver 
सब हो रहा है इसलिए भी हम लोग बाहर में जाने के लिए कभी 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 रास्ता बंद हो जाता था तो हम लोग को कभी एक महीने ऐसा भी रुकना भी पड़ जाता था तो फिलहाल अभी तो रास्ता भी बन गया तो हम लोग को एक ही दिन में आराम से पहुँच जाता है कम्युनिकेशन सही नहीं होने के कारण से दो तीन दिन भी लग जाते थे कभी कभर को कुछ होने के कारण से अभी लेकिन बहुत सा सुविधा मिला है हाईवे के कारण से एक दिन में यहाँ से वहीं भी पहुँच सकते वहीं से मतलब डायरेक्ट आप जानकर वगैरह कहीं भी जाना हो वहाँ डायरेक्ट पहुँच सकते हैं Unshaken by the remoteness of the area, Sushi Infra has set up two major camps to carry out the project. Laboratories, workshops, office setup, accommodation for the staff all have been taken care of by the company for the smooth execution of the work. The assigned team of over 300 members including engineers, surveyors, office staff, workers and laborers are leaving no stone unturned to transform the blueprint into concrete. The overall progress of the project so far is 91% while the excavation has been completed up to 100 to 120 meters. The precasting of the concrete segments are done with high quality as Sushi Infra doesn't compromise with quality. No delay could be sensed as Sushi Infra heroes have been carrying out the earthworks 24/7 even under extreme weather conditions. Once completed, Anini will be open to the rest of the country, making movement of people and goods safer, faster, and cheaper. Concrete roads will no longer be a dream for the residents of Anini. Essential services will no longer be delayed. because shushi infra is not only connecting roads but also connecting people with their dreams considering the role of arunachal pradesh from the national security perspective this project shall elevate anini as a major contributor it shall be counted among developed cities including itanagar and tawang the sustainable vision of prime minister Narendra Modi the path breaking dream of road transport and highways minister Nitin Gadkari are no more just on papers it is now being executed on the ground all thanks to Sushi Infra's connectivity and power infrastructure that is making life and business easy in Arunachal Pradesh yes boundaries can be crossed